you talked about education as something that looks uh, uh, that looks similar to the way that it did 50 years ago. Um, what is it about preparing our kids for school and how do you feel about the way that we prepare families regarding early education, whether that be government or business, uh, from low-income families uh, regarding preparing them for kindergarten today, as opposed to the way that we prepared them 50 years ago? Well, I think one of the things that people fail to recognize is that, you know, when I was growing up back in the 50s, uh, if you had a basic high school education, you could find a job. Maybe it wasn't a great job, but you could take care of your family. You could find a place to live. Uh, the idea that we needed these higher level skills was just not part of the education infrastructure. Uh, parents didn't think about that when their kids were six months old, right? How am I going to make sure this kid is really prepared to be successful and do high level math and uh, English and those kind of things? Uh, things have changed today. Uh, the job, uh, they call for much higher skills than we've ever had before. Uh, and we need our kids to be prepared. However, we're still preparing kids as if this is 1955 and we're preparing them and they can get a good job working in a local factory somewhere. Those days are over. I don't care what anyone says, they are never coming back. We need to make sure we're preparing today's kids for tomorrow's jobs and not yesterday's jobs. Mm -hmm. And in communities of color, you know, even when in the 50s, uh, most kids were getting a pretty decent education, community of color, they were not. Mm -hmm. uh, there were not just these segregated schools and the failure to allow equal funding and equal education. Uh, there was just not the sense of opportunity uh, that exists uh, today for uh, families and unfortunately uh, our children are not being prepared to take advantage of those opportunities. So you can go to college today uh, if you graduate from high school and you basically have a decent high school academic career. While you might have been excluded 40 or 50 years ago from everything but a few colleges, you can now get into lots of colleges but we're still not preparing our kids. And this has to become the number one issue for African-American and minority parents in underserved communities. We've got to know for our children, education is it. There is no other way these kids are going to be successful.